today let us learn about some advanced norish type 1 reactions in cyclic ketones which are useful for csir net and gate exams let's see first the example of norbornenone norbornenone is nothing but cyclic hexanone ring with a methyl bridge in 1 and 4 carbon atoms of the ring. This is the structure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This is the methyl bridge between first carbon and fourth carbon of the cyclohexanon ring. This is the carbonyl group on the second carbon atom. This can be written like this also. Hexanon like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is hexanon. This, this is the carbonyl. So it is called hexanon. It has a methyl bridge between first carbon and fourth carbon of the ring. This is the seventh carbon. So this is norbornenone. What happens in Norish type 1 reaction of this norbornenone? Let us see the primary process. When it is irradiated by UV light, the compound which is in ground state will undergo N to pi star transitions and enters singlet that is S1 excited state. This is the singlet excited state of norbornenone. It has two alpha carbons bonds, alpha bonds, sorry, alpha bonds. One is let it be A alpha bond and B alpha bond. This is the singlet excited state. Then through intersystem crossing, it enters triplet state 3 1. In the triplet state, either alpha A alpha car bond or B alpha bond can cleave. So this is not the alpha bond. This is no, no. this is the B alpha bond. Okay, either A alpha bond or B alpha bond will cleave. So let's see both. If alpha A bond cleaves, we get a bi radical like this one radical here on the alkyl side one radical on the acyl side this is the first acyl alkyl bi radical if beta b sorry b alpha bond breaks then we get a bi radical like this one radical on the acyl group and one radical on the alkyl group. So this is the second acyl alkyl bi radical. This is the primary process. So in the primary process from ground state to singlet state and from singlet state to triplet state and in the triplet state alpha bond of the carbonyl compound cleaves giving us acyl alkyl bi radicals this is the first acyl alkyl bi radical this is the second acyl alkyl bi radical now in the secondary process let us see the first acyl alkyl bi radical this alpha bond that that means the other alpha bond 
to the carbonyl group cleaves forming a radical here and a radical on this carbon as a result of which decarbonylation occurs and CO gas escapes. Let us see in the second acyl alkyl biradical. Here also the bond adjacent to the carbonyl radical that is also an alpha bond it cleaves setting carbon monoxide free. So we get from both the process we will get a new biradical. There is one radical here and one radical here. So now we started with a 7 carbon atom compound. Now we have ended with 6 carbon atom compound. So we have lost one carbon in the form of carbon monoxide. Now this new biradical will give two forms of products. It can either undergo ring closure or cyclization or it can undergo ring opening. Let us see one by one. Ring closure or cyclization. The two radicals present here will come together to form a new bond. This radical and this radical will join together to form a new bond. This is the new bond forming a cyclic product. It's nothing but cyclopentane with a methyl bridge. Right? Now, this new biradical can also undergo ring opening. The bond that is adjacent to the radicals, this is can be called beta bond. This bond cleaves forming a radical on the sixth carbon atom and second carbon atom. As a result of which we get a radical here on the fifth carbon is already present on the sixth carbon and the second carbon. This radical and this radical will join together to form a bond and this radical and this radical will join together to form another bond as a result of which we get an alkene. This is about not polynomial. Now let us see consider the example of a bicyclic ketone. This is cyclobutoin and this is cyclopentane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the carbonyl group. So it has two alpha bonds. This is one alpha bond and this is another alpha bond. In the primary process, the compound is in the, from the ground state, is excited excited to end to pi star transitions upon irradiation by UV light and enters singlet excited state. Then from singlet excited state through intersystem crossing it enters triplet excited state. In the triplet excited state Any one of these two alpha bonds can cleave A alpha bond or B alpha bond. Let us see what happens if A alpha bond cleaves. If A alpha bond cleaves, that is this bond cleaves, we get a radical here on the SL part of the compound and an alkyl part of the compound. So this is the first SL alkyl biradical. Now, if 
the beta alpha B alpha bond leaves we get a radical here and a radical here so that is it here we have got a radical here we have got a radical this is second acyl alkyl bi radical this is the primary process in the secondary process this is the first acyl alkyl bi radical the bond that is adjacent to the carbonyl group that is the other alpha bond cleaves forming a radical here and forming a radical here as a result carbon monoxide escapes and we get a new bi radical one radical here and one radical here now let us see in the second acyl alkyl bi radical in the second acyl acyl alkyl bi radical the bond adjacent to the acyl group is also al alpha bond this bond cleaves forming a radical here and a radical on this carbon as a result of which carbon monoxide escapes giving rise to a new bi radical which is like this then this new bi radical can undergo two types of reactions one is ring closure this radical and this radical will come together to form a new bond as a result of which we get a this is the new bond bicyclic alkane this is not stable due to ring strain as you all know small rings are not stable because of ring strain this consists of a four membered ring and another four membered ring they are not stable now ring opening also takes place here the beta bond that is this is the radical this is the radical so in respect to these radicals this is the beta bond this beta bond cleaves forming a radical here and a radical here this radical and this radical will form a bond here so as a result we will have double bond here and this radical newly formed radical and this radical they will form another bond here so this also will have a double bond as a result of which we get an alkene now let us consider another example let us see the third example let us consider the example of beta gamma unsaturated cyclic ketone this is the beta gamma cyclic unsaturated ketone let us see this this is the carbonyl group so this is the alpha carbon this is the beta carbon and this is the gamma carbon there is a double bond between beta carbon and gamma carbon so it is called beta gamma unsaturated ketone now when this compound is irradiated by uv light it undergoes n to pi star transitions and enters singlet excited state then through intersystem crossing it enters triplet excited state in the triplet excited state any one of the alpha bonds can cleave if a alpha bond cleaves this is the a alpha bond if it cleaves we get a bi radical like this this is the first acyl alkyl bi radical one radical is on the alkyl part another radical is on the acyl part okay. if b alpha bond cleaves we get a radical like this one radical on the acyl group and one radical on the alkyl group 
as a result of which we get second acyl alkyl biracial. The secondary process. In the secondary process, the other carbon bond, the other alpha bond, sorry, the other alpha bond leaves, leaving CO. Or here, the other alpha bond leaves, setting CO gas free. As a result of which, decarbonylation occurs and forms a new biradical. A new biradical is this. Okay. This new biradical can undergo ring closure. This radical and this radical will come together to form a new bond. As a result of which, we get bicyclic compound or this beta bond can cleave forming a radical here and a radical here as a result of which this new radical and old radical will form a bond this new radical and old radical this new radical and old radical will form a bond and this new radical and old radical will form a bond as a result of which we get cyclic alkene so these are the three examples of advanced nourish type 1 reaction. Thank you.